So then, Chris, what have you found today on Amazon? Um, Black Friday's ended, as you know. It has, it has indeed. Um, over the weekend, not many deals. Cyber Monday, a few have picked up. Okay, found anything decent? There's a few things, nothing yes. great. As you can see, it's a mishmash of products. So it's oh, what well, Play-Doh, deal of the day. If you were looking for some Play-Doh, maybe yeah. today is now the day. Quite a big price range on that. I'm not sure I'd spend $130 on Play-Doh personally. Hey, well, if you, you, it's either you either live the Play-Doh life or you don't live the Play-Doh life, Chris. You either go full out or you just don't. So first up, we've got a micro SD card from Samsung. Okay, see that. 100 megabytes per second transfer rate. It's quite fast. You want a large transfer, uh, fast transfer rate, otherwise you'll be there for ages waiting for things to transfer over. I mean, we know we shoot in 4K. Trying to transfer that over without a uh, an adapter is cool. It's not what you want. Yeah. Um, 128 so, bits more. Uh, is there any deal on, on the larger things? I think 128. For $17, I think that's a great price. It's a great price. No, it's a great price. It depends what you're shooting in. If you're shooting in 4K, you might want to go for a bigger one. I mean, you so know, that, that's, that's less. So if you've got two 128 gig, that would cost you 32. Yeah, no, it's 27. So. I'd recommend oh. go over 256 because it depends what you're shooting in. If you're just shooting in 1080p and you don't shoot all the time, 120 will work. But I mean, we shoot in 4K every day and 256 is kind of like the standard because yeah. files can go up to like 30 gig you're recording for a while, so. Yeah, but you'd have to make sure your phone or whatever device you're using this in can support that much storage. Yeah, definitely check beforehand because um, you don't want to get it and then have to return it. So yeah, it says that ideal for recording 4K Ultra HD video it can be used in Samsung phones. So you can put it in your, uh, your Galaxy S10 um, or use it in a DSLR. So either or. Yep. Um, next up, storage again. Sandy. This is just a USB thumb drive. Very useful. I have an older model of this, but 256 gig and it's 3.1. So bandwidth is not an issue at all, provided you plug this into a 3.0 or 3.1 port. Yeah. Um, big drop there. It actually was about seventy dollars. Yeah. So it actually has dropped to fifty-eight. And I see the transfer rate there is quite big. It's four hundred twenty megabytes per second with a write speed of three hundred eighty. It's really fast. Yeah, it's approaching like SSD speeds, and, yeah. it's, and it's much smaller than an SSD. Yeah. It's pretty good. This is a Lightning deal, as you can see. Um, not much more to say about it, to be honest. It works with USB 2 if you're still using that. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much the fastest USB you probably find, especially for the price. Yeah, and as you can see, a lot of people are claiming that. You've got 47% of people have already claimed the deal, so it's obviously yeah. a very popular So you got to be fast with this one. Yeah, definitely. So, All right, what's next? Um, oh. I, lo I love storage, as you can tell. Yeah, Chris is a big fan of storage. Chris wants many terabytes of storage. 10 is just not enough for you sometimes. No, no. So. What have we got here? So here, 10 terabyte NAS drive from Western Digital. This is the Pro Drive as well. I'm not too sure how that differentiates from just the plain red, but I guess it's better. I think it has more two years extra warranty. 10 terabyte, mate, maybe a little bit overkill. Uh, maybe, so you could start off with two terabytes. That's under $100? It's not a spectac it's not a spectacular price. Yeah. $100. I would recommend if you're going to spend that much, you might as well bump up to the four terabytes it's for only It's an extra twenty-nine dollars, yeah, for an extra two, you may as well. Thing to be aware of, I think these are seventy-two hundred RPM drives, so they will be noisier than the the Reds, which are fifty-four hundred RPM. But as you can see, the fifty-four hundred RPM is cheaper. Yeah. Whereas these Red Pros are faster. They're more industry orientated, yeah, yeah. but if you're throw... what you want, isn't it? If you want yeah. industry standard, and you want it to be quiet, then you might have to make the sacrifice. But but if you're throwing this into a NAS and that's somewhere away under the cupboard or whatever, it's, yeah, it, it shouldn't matter, really be an it? issue. Yeah. So if you have it in your like your home computer and you're worried about noise, then you might want to go for the uh, the regular red. Yeah, but at this price, two hundred sixty dollars for ten terabytes is insane. Yeah, the sixty six. Especially on the Pro model with the extra warranty, it's. If you're after the, this sort of storage, I, I'd recommend it. Especially when you look at the eight terabytes, it's not that much cheaper. Yeah. 12 doesn't seem to be available on 14 uh, at all. sold out. You see, people had that exact same thought process. They were like, if we're going for 10, maybe we'll go for the 14. Yeah. So have a lifetime storage for the next 10 generations of my family. Moving away from storage. Oh, see, this is a product that I'm familiar with. Blue Yeti, it's the kind of go-to 2014's YouTuber microphone. Uh, of course, it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey as well, so we're looking at maybe getting an Assassin's Creed Odyssey, then get it with a microphone. But uh, Blue Yeti, we, we've used the Blue Snowball, um, and I heard the Yeti is just as good. Um, it's a condenser mic. Uh, it's good for voiceovers, podcasting, and stuff like that, I guess. Uh, it comes with a variety of colors. And yeah, I mean, you can get it with just the mic only. So what's the difference in price? 
that's mic only that I don't think it's so it's actually it's more expensive. to get the mic on its own so you may as well get the bundle there you go $89 for the for the game bundle you may as well it's the same price as the mic so even if you don't like Odyssey give it to give it to a friend come up to Christmas you can pretend you paid for it for them staying in the audio realm we've got yeah. the Sony WH-1000 XM3s. Very, catchy title, yeah. very, very catchy title, yeah. Um, Bluetooth, the, the basically uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones, yeah. noise cancelling. Comes with Alexa sort of voice control, I see there. Uh, I've got an Alexa at home and I do talk to her quite a lot. It's quite, it's quite sad how much I actually talk to my Alexa, so I don't know how I would feel about doing it on the way to work or something, being like, Alexa, play next song, to be honest, but... Yeah, so these are, yeah, they've got noise cancelling in them as well. So these are kind of like the direct comparison to the Bose, I imagine. Yeah, so we're going to look at those in a minute. And okay. List price there, 350 big drop to 280 Not, yeah. Not bad. Um, Saving $1 discount. I mean, it's, it's a good little discount if you were in the market for headphones, to be honest. So. Yeah, you will need to charge these, though. It it's, does say a long battery life there of about up to 30 hours of playtime, which is really good. Yeah. They always say 30 hours, but I feel like continuous listening. But then again, that says playtime for reliable for all day listening, so up to 30 hours. I know that Not normally with long. these type of headphones, if it is to die on you when you're out, you can normally just plug in the headphone jack, plug it into your phone anyway. So if they, if they do die, it's not like the end of the world. And if you're stuck on a train, you can just plug them in for the wire and be old fashioned. Okay, so they're 278. So I imagine the bows are coming up next. So the bows, 279, basically the same price. These yeah. are the QC35 twos. Also comes with Alexa voice control. The bit, I mean, they're much of a muchness. They're the same sort of thing. One's made by Bows, one's made by Sony. Yeah. Both work in audio and have done for years, years, years. So yeah. Bose seems to come with this Bose AR which is an innovative audio-only version of augmented reality. Not had an experience of that, that sounds quite interesting. It sounds interesting, I'm not sure what that entails. I mean, Bose have kind of just always been like the industry leaders in, when it comes to sound quality, so I feel it depends if you want to take, this, take the jump to Sony, it's up to you. You might already have a pair of Bose and you may not be a fan, it's up, yeah. I guess it's up to you, but once again, Bose, uh, the sound cancelling when it comes to Bose are absolutely incredible. So yeah. I've not personally had a go with the Sony. I've had a go with these Bose headphones before. They're, they're really great. They're really comfy as well for long periods of time. So it's not a type of uh, headphone where it starts to hurt your ears after a while. Like you quite literally could wear them for a whole for a whole day. They don't seem to mention anything about battery life, and it's, it boasts its kind of length. So not entirely sure if it lives up to Sony's 30-hour listening because that is a long time to, for a wireless headphone to, to last for. Uh, so battery life up to 20 hours. hours so. There you go. Yeah. So Sony's beaten them by a good 10 hours. So it depends what you want. Um, I know the sound, sound cancelling and the audio quality on Bose is brilliant, but also an extra 10 hour battery life on the Sony. Kind of, yeah. it's just personal preference then I guess, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I try and look at reviews and see which you prefer, but they're basically the same. Cool, all right, what we've got next? Next Ooh, is a lot. Laptop <laughs> deals. Okay, this is your realm of things, this yeah, one. So this is, I mean, it's a bit expensive for entry level, but it's, it's not gaming orientated. It has a very capable AMD 3500U, which I believe is quad core i don't know about hair threading but it has vega graphics which similar to the apus we've tested is you can get some light gaming on there like overwatch yeah, and yeah. dota about. you've got eight gigs of ram i mean it's, it's going to be capable of running most games not maybe not on ultra but no you'll you, be able to definitely successfully run it on medium to high graphics i imagine yeah. with eight gigs of ram and a quad core to be honest but this i'd honestly look at this if you're just after a laptop for work yeah it's very thin, it's it's nice, it's got thin bezels if you like that. Um, SSD, 256 gig, it's it's just great for the price. Yeah, there you go, $110 off, so what next laptop have we got? Ooh, step up oh, in price. Asus. This is this is the standout for me. Yeah, this is more of a gaming laptop than the other one I imagine. Yeah, we're not too impressed by the 1650 on PC, but on the laptop side, it's very good, especially at this price, it's dropped by, it's actually dropped by $100. Yeah. Um, again, well, the Ryzen process is faster now. It's a 3550H, which I believe is quad-core and hyper-threaded. Uh, like I said, 1650 graphics. It's similar sort of spec as the other one, to be honest, but yeah. the graphics gets a bit of a bump. I'm not sure you could run mini games 1080p with like high settings. You probably have to lower them a bit. Yeah. But um, good, good for the price. Like yeah. I say, it's another good laptop. It's, 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 it does the basic job of what you want it to do. And if you, yeah. if you were to use it for gaming, then you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to do it successfully. Once again, not on ultra, but no. It's, I mean, it's a laptop. You know, I could expect too much high power out of the laptop unless you really invest like a solid amount of money into it anyway. So, five nine nine, not really too bad for an entry level computer, to be honest. And then, finally, 
as you were saying. Ah, if you want to a bit of a big one. price drop, so I imagine this is the one that you can run Ultra Games on, I imagine. So, a grand, basically. Yeah. Um, 3750H. I'm not too sure what jump that is. It's a better CPU. Yeah. Graphics takes a big jump all the way to 1660 Ti version. Double the amount of RAM as well. Got DDR4, 16. Yep. And same 256 gig SSD, but this is PCIe, so it's probably NVMe, which is much faster. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, there's not much to say. You get really. a terabyte in there as well. The screen is bigger, 15.6 inch. So this yeah, is a yeah. bigger laptop. 120 hertz IPS again. It's also backlit. You know how we love gamers love their RGB backlit keyboards. So Many if, that games, was, yep. yeah, if that was a thing then that you wanted, then yeah. So I, I'm noticing down there you can get a mouse and a uh, mouse mat for an extra $21 if you were in the market for that because nobody wants to game on a on a, a trackpad. Track pad. No. Not at all. Yeah, not using a trackpad to play Overwatch. Don't think you win many games doing that, to be honest. So uh, is that all the deals that you found? Um, that's it. I mean, like I said, it's not as good as Black Friday. Black Friday, Black Friday but there's still some solid de deals so, to be had. So then, Chris, what was your uh, standout pick amongst all the products then? What would you recommend? Um, as a fan of storage, it would be this for this price. Lightning deal yeah. ends pretty soon. Would you go for the 10 terabyte? Would 10 terabyte be is the best price yeah. for the amount of storage you get. That's definitely the one I'd go for. I feel like you can do absolutely everything with 10 terabytes. Like you can use that for anything you, you po could possibly ever need, to be honest. I, I refuse to believe 10 terabyte could be filled. Quite like some of the laptop deals, um, but yeah, I'd go with the storage as well, to be honest. So yeah, I mean, you're not gonna expect as good deals in Black Friday, but that's just to be expected. So if you missed out on Black Friday for whatever reason, or you forgot a few things to buy, maybe look around on Cyber Monday. These are just our picks. There are quite a few other things available on the website. So just, I guess, take a look around, yeah. yeah. So. All right, well, I've been Jay. I've been Chris. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.